These parts are indistinguishable mass products. That is, until a laser engraves a code on them, giving each part a label, an identity, that will determine its path through the production process. We'll accompany an injector on its journey through the Bosch factory. Finally, it will fulfill its purpose to spray diesel fuel into a truck engine. The injector's unambiguous number now clearly identifies it, wherever it is. The injector does not carry any additional information with it, but its number connects it with the information in the computer systems. And this ensures that wherever I spot this injector, I can access all the information on it that I need. As assembly continues, the injector and others like it are automatically kept under constant control, also by means of a high-speed camera. Vast amounts of data are constantly traveling through the factory. This is a zero-defect system. Mistakes are recognized immediately and corrected. But how stable is a system that depends on so much data? In my area, we have very few problems. It's no secret that we average fewer than two server crashes per year. Almost all the data about the injector can also be accessed through the Internet. That makes Bosch vulnerable to industrial espionage. For example, a competitor could learn how many parts a particular customer has ordered. An essential element is that we, as Bosch, administer our data independently and under our control. This ensures that no outsider can access this data, unless we have a corresponding agreement. Radio signals automatically keep track of which injectors are completed and ready for shipping. The factory's entire logistics system is steered by radio. That makes it easier to get an overall picture of the flow of wares and thus reduce warehouse stock by 30%. Machines and products are increasingly communicating among themselves without people. So will the human worker become superfluous when technology can organize itself in the world of Industry version 4.0? In the context of Industry 4.0, people will find new tasks. There will be people creating the rules for the machines so that they are able to communicate in the first place. And these will be highly qualified tasks. And we'll still need employees to carry out activities that are complex and cannot be carried out by machines. From the Bosch factory in Hamburg in southwestern Germany, the injectors are sent to the customers. For example, to the car manufacturer Daimler-Benz, where the injectors also exchange information with other machines. We deliver our products to our customers, and they use them in their manufacturing process. This assembly generates an automatic signal that we receive through the Internet, and then we know what parts to produce. That tells the Bosch factory precisely what parts are necessary to fill the customer's needs. And a new injector with a unique identity begins its journey.